if you are living in Stevensville, Maryland, Stevensville, Maryland, and you are having a heck of a time finding Cash flow real estate in and around your immediate area, right? If you're having some trouble and you're looking to get in the game, you're looking to become a landlord, you're looking to have someone handle the management for you, I want you to watch today's show because you have a lot in common with my client and I feel like y'all could learn something. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%, that's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise and I help people like you, 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 not you, you're cool. I help you guys invest in real estate, right? Today, Stevensville, Maryland. That is the locale in which my client Terry is located in. Terry, what's up, playa? Uh, we've been working together for quite some time. Sent several properties your way, and you sent a couple to me. I analyzed them, and uh, so far we haven't been able to put a deal together, right? Because you got a pretty uh, tight, strict criteria based on how things are working with your lender, right? One of the things you're trying to do here is get a property under 200 k Okay, trying to get a multifamily under 200K. We're in Northeast Ohio now because that's the market you chose because, well, there's a lot cheaper properties here than there is in Stevensville, Maryland, right? And my team does the on-the-ground work, so it don't matter that you don't live here, right? That's what you're doing. Uh, it is so easy, so easy, like beyond easy to find uh, duplexes under $200,000 in Northeast Ohio. It's like the easiest thing in the world. They literally grow on trees, right? Like, most of them sell for like 75, 80, 85, 90, 100 thousand dollars. Okay, but that's not exactly what we can do with you because your lender requires that the house be a little bit newer construction. And what we have is a housing stock out here in Northeast Ohio uh, that a lot of the stuff's built in like 1915, 1920, 1925, 1930, things of that nature, right? So that's limited you a little bit. But bro, this is it. This is the one, Terry. This is your deal, dog. I got you a duplex, 1963, in your price range. Numbers look good. This one, bro, this is the one. Let's do the numbers. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's gonna be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's gonna be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back. We are going to pull up the numbers, the numero unos on this one, okay? Now, this is different, okay? This is different than what you normally see in Cleveland, right? How many people out there watch me go over to this screen all the time, right? See me, this is not what the duplexes normally look like, right? Because most of the duplexes in this market are going to be like your 100-year-old up-down duplexes, right? The two big front porches. This is different. Newer neighborhood, 1963. Now, I know there's people watching the show that are like, wait, 1963 is new? Where, like, where did my spaceship land? Well, this is freaking Ohio. This is Cleveland, Ohio market. Yeah, that's new for us, man. Uh, it's a 100-year-old housing market. That just, that's just how the cookie crumbles, right? Here's the interior. All looking fairly decent, okay? This is essentially as new as it's going to get uh, in this price range, all right? We got one tenant moving out, right? So what we have, what we have, folks, we have one tenant already paying eight fifty. But truth be told, that's a $900 unit, right? So long term, you're going to get nine out of that. You're going to get nine out of the other one. So 18 comes in, 21600 right? 21600 But obviously, we got to do some work, right? This is the unit. Clearly not rent ready. If you think it's rent ready, you're obviously an insane person because it's not rent ready. We have to spend some moolah. Don't worry. My team will do that renovation for you. I shall go over the numbers momentarily. But first, I want to bring your attention right here. That's a furnace. That's a furnace. But guess what? 
Those furnaces are like brand spanking new looking, dude. I don't know if they're like brand new, brand new, but they're fairly new. Okay, here's the deal with furnaces. Right now, post-COVID world, these bad boys are running you about 35 apiece to get installed. And they last about 30 years. If I had to guess, put my little guesstimation hat on, I would tell you that those furnaces are probably both within the first three to five years of their life expectancy. Maybe even newer, maybe one to two. They don't stay shiny like that for long. So you got almost 30 years before you got to drop that 7Gs, right? A uh, little finished action in the basement there. Nice dry basement, right? Uh, dry basement's not necessarily something you're always going to see in a lot of the rental markets here in the Cleveland area. By the way, hot water tanks cost about 1000 uh, This one is probably over five years old. This one is less than five years old. Hot water tanks, they last about 15 years, right? So we got bones. We got great bones here. All we really need to do is cosmetically make this thing look beautiful. By the way, I didn't even give you the address. Uh, 27360 Tungsten, E. Euclid, Ohio, East Side Suburb. I like Euclid quite a bit. Uh, they just recently built an Amazon Fulfillment Center in Euclid, so we got a few thousand jobs out of that, and I love it, right? Now, don't be wrong. It's 2022 right now, so this probably doesn't seem like that big of a deal, uh, but like the the fulfillment center was maybe like two or three years ago, and the big thing was Amazon was going to pay Every single worker, no matter who they were, at least $15 an hour. And that was like a big thing. We're like, oh, shit, that is awesome. Uh, it's like the prime wage uh, that you want your tenant base to be, right? Because, like, you know, if, like, some new thing opens up and they're hiring, like, plastic surgeons, I mean, sweet, but, like, a plastic surgeon is not going to rent your uh, duplex apartment building. Sorry. Um, so it's very cool that you have all these new jobs coming in that's, like, perfect for your tenant base. Uh, I mean, now it's, like, 2022, and... You know, everybody's bitching and whining about 15 an hour or whatever. So it's kind of like really kind of taking over. But that was like at the height of it, right? That was like the first thing like in Northeast Ohio. A big company started offering 15 an hour, right? So that was like a big deal. So I like Yuka. I like Yuka quite a bit. We got a ton of properties over there, right? So this thing is pretty darn nice, right? Now, all we really need to worry about is fixing up that other unit. We'll get the existing tenants rent up slowly over time. They're close enough to market where we shouldn't really need to mess with it. I mean, market is 900 and they're already paying 850 right? So you don't neither, you know, $50 rent one way or the other makes like you choose to buy or not buy a rental property. I'll tell you right now, save your money. You're in the wrong business, right? That's an irrelevant sum of money, right? As far as purchase price goes, they're asking 150 but it's been on the market for quite some time, right? Quite some time, 117 days. I'm sure that tenant trashing that unit makes it uh, kind of hard for these people to sell. I think we can get a little discount. 135 is what I'd like to offer, right? And then after closing, my team will fix up that unit, get it ready to rent for 900, and that should cost you roughly 15k. We'll do all the rentals, so you're all in at 150. All your upfront money would be uh, your down payment plus those repairs. Uh, if you're doing 25% down, would be 33750 plus the 15 k in repairs. That's 48750 101000 mortgage. That would result in a cool, calm, collect, easy 10% ROI. And again, you have a home that is 40 to 50 years newer than a lot of the housing stock in this market. You got a great Great tenant base out there with very stable income. I mean, dude, I mentioned earlier, you know, th nowadays, today's days, right? I was like, yo, 15 an hour from Amazon back then was crazy. Now it's kind of normal. But you know what else is normal right now? Amazon ruined the world. This is post-COVID. Everybody's out of business, and Amazon just took it over, right? So if you're going to have a rental property and the biggest employer in town uh, is Amazon, I think you're always going to have a very stable base of tenants, right? So this one, I like this deal quite a bit. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.